In this video, I'd like to demonstrate some of the simple changes we've made in the 2021.3 version for basic part inspection and scanning. So let me go ahead and add my arm here, and I will give you a quick demonstration of that. So first, let me connect. And there's a special setting that I'd like to share with you that will make things a little bit easier. So if you go under the user options and the fit measure options, there's an option to do some angle filtering, which will only keep data on edges. What's really cool about that is it really pulls out the data around holes, along the edges of holes, and ensures that you've got really good data coverage for those regions, while at the same time, it uh, pretty much ignores the data on planar surfaces, which makes it really simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first uh, define a clipping plane so that I can uh, exclude the data from the table. I have a part sitting here on the table. And I've set up my little clipping plane. And if you notice, there's actually a clipping plane display immediately under the projection plane in our new ribbon bar in this version, which makes that clipping and scanning much easier to access rather than having to switch over to the clouds and surfaces tab of the, of the ribbon. But uh, let me just uh, scan this part real quick, um, just demonstrate uh, the idea. And um, let me just take a look here. And if I zoom in a little bit, maybe you can get a little bit of a better idea and just finish zooming in here. There you go. So now you're seeing the impact of that angle filter. So normally you'd have lots and lots of data, and particularly with some of these newer scanners, you can have an incredible amount of data on the part, which is really not very useful for most things. But this angle filter simply excludes the data that's not on a sharp transition or curve and it uh, basically ignores the data on the flats, which allows you to get this very thinned out data appearance. So now that I've got this data, I can easily extract it. And this extraction tool is something that um, is available in Pro now. So you can simply right click on, the, on a planar surface and I'll look on that planar surface and extract all the holes on that surface. So let me do the one other one here. Extract the circles. And uh, there we go. So if I close that dialog, and I'll go ahead and hide the cloud just so you can see the effect. Um, there you go, extracted all the holes. And that was the benefit of that angle filter is that you have all the data on the edges, which makes it very easy to extract the holes. And one of the other fun tools here is we also have a circle from circles button um, underneath the circle. So I extracted that. And now I can build my frame based upon um, that extracted circle. I can use that as the center of my frame and also clock the frame using the origin and one more point. So I'm going to ex select this far circle at the top. And the reason I'm doing that is I can then align my measured data directly to the uh, nominal. And in this case, I, I don't have a nominal. I'm just aligning it to the world frame so that I can use that for um, referencing and reporting. But the other thing is I have this execute alignment. Um, there's a little button right there, execute alignment, which allows you to just simply align those frames once they're established. And there you go. It's aligned and it's ready to report. So let me just show you. There's one other trick. I can make a table from circles under this create geometry summary table. And once I've selected the circles I want to include, it creates a custom report table, which then can be added to a dynamic report. So I can just simply go to that custom table and drag it into my report, and there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. A simple, um, cir a simple um, circle analysis.